President Obama celebrated Memorial Day weekend in Afghanistan, where, the, where he visited U.S. troops today. As Wendy Gillette reports, it was his fourth trip to the country as president. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President Obama got a rousing welcome from hundreds of soldiers after making a secret trip to Bagram Airfield in Afghanistan just before Memorial Day. I know it's a little late, but I was in the neighborhood and thought I'd stop by. News of the president's visit to Afghanistan's largest U.S. military base only surfaced after he landed. He shook hands with troops after promising there will be a limited U.S. military presence in the country starting in 2015. America's war in Afghanistan will come to a responsible end. <laughs> President Obama also met with military leaders on the ground telling them that decisions about the transition will be announced soon. But I thought it was important for me to make sure that I checked in directly with folks face to face. The president did not mention the ongoing scandal involving delayed care of veterans at VA hospitals, only telling troops that the U.S. will keep its sacred obligation to veterans coming home from war. The war in Afghanistan is America's longest, nearly 13 years of combat. Almost 33,000 U.S. troops still remain there. Wendy Gillette for CBS News. President Obama invited Afghanistan's President Hamid Karzai to the base to meet with him, but he declined. The two leaders have not always seen eye to eye.